Dennis Prager, who is the founder of PragerU, not a real university, by the way, he announced that he has COVID-19. Now, in this video where he explains that he was diagnosed with COVID-19, you're going to hear him talk about how stoked he is that he got COVID-19. In fact, he went out of his way to try to get infected with COVID-19. I'm not memeing. I'm not making this up. You are going to hear a grown adult say why he's actually glad that he has COVID-19 and why he wanted COVID-19. I'm broadcasting from my home because I'm not going into the station as I have COVID. I came, uh, I was tested positive last week and I have uh, been uh, steadily improving. At no point was I in danger of hospitalization. I have uh, received monoclonal antibodies, that's Regeneron. I have, of course, for years, a year and a half, not years, been taking hydroxychloroquine from the beginning with zinc. I've taken z the er 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 erythromycin, as uh, the Zelenko protocol would have it. I have taken ivermectin. I have done what a person should do if one is not going to get vaccinated. It is infinitely preferable to have natural immunity than vaccine immunity. And that is what I hoped for the entire time. Hence, I so... Uh, engaged with strangers, constantly hugging them, taking photos with them, knowing that I was in, in, making myself very susceptible to getting COVID, which is indeed, as bizarre as it sounded, what I wanted, in the hope that I would achieve natural immunity and be taken care of by therapeutics. That is exactly what has happened. It should have happened to the great majority of Americans. The number of deaths in this country uh, o owing to COVID is a scandal, which one day will be clear uh, to Americans. This man is 73 years old. He's unvaccinated. And you just heard him say he tried to get COVID-19. Okay. I mean, it's certainly a gamble. Nonetheless, if this is what you wanted, you do have the freedom to give yourself COVID-19. Now, his reasoning is incorrect. He claims that the uh, natural immunity is infinitely preferable than vaccine immunity, except he's factually incorrect about that. In fact, a study from Kentucky found that people who previously had COVID-19 were actually twice as likely to be reinfected compared with those who were fully vaccinated. Also, the vaccines offer better protection than natural immunity. So even if you previously had COVID-19, yes, you should still get vaccinated. Now, even if he's correct that natural immunity was better, like it gave you more protection from the virus than the vaccines, it's still more preferable to get vaccinated because in order to get said natural immunity, you still have to get infected with COVID-19. You risk dying you risk living with health complications for years so vaccine uh deniers their logic people who are vaccine hesitant anti-vaxxers it doesn't make sense and uh, come to find out there was a study i can't remember who conducted the study that showed that conspiracy theorists actually lack critical thinking skills so uh, that's the least surprising outcome ever but it's true when you see that this dude is saying he literally wanted to get covid 19 so he can get natural immunity and be protected from COVID-19. It just, it doesn't make sense to me. Now, part of it is me thinking that he's he's lying. He doesn't actually want this. He didn't try to get it, but he doesn't want the libs to kind of uh, laugh at him and say, well, you should have got the vaccine. You were an anti-vaxxer. In fact, he once proclaimed that he knows more than doctors. So he doesn't want liberals to be proven correct. He doesn't want them to say, see, you should have gotten the vaccine. Maybe this could have been prevented. So I, I think that he's just saying this as a means of coping. Who would want to get COVID-19? That doesn't make sense. It's like saying, well, I want to get the Black Plague 
so I don't get the Black Plague, so I get that natural immunity. I mean, it's mind-bending, right? It's stupid. But this is uh, this is political discourse in 2021 in America. Now, there's a couple of other things that he says here that is absolutely incorrect. He says, uh, you know, I've received monoclonal antibodies. That's Regeneron. That's one thing that he should be doing. But on top of that, he says, I have taken ivermectin. I've done what a person should do if one is not going to get vaccinated, except ivermectin has not been proven to be effective in treating COVID-19. There is no evidence that this is the case. So no, you haven't done what a person should do if one is not going to get vaccinated. And the point is that you should get vaccinated, especially if you're 73 years old like Dennis Prager. I mean, you're really rolling the dice here, my man, but uh, this is this is what he wanted to do. Now, there's a chance that he is actually vaccinated. I don't know. You know, there's these Fox News hosts like Tucker Carlson, Laura Ingram, where they will spread vaccine misinformation and fear monger about the vaccines, but yet they themselves are vaccinated. But then again, there's a lot of right wingers, right wing radio hosts who they actually drank the Kool-Aid that they were giving to other people and they did actually contract COVID-19 and die because they weren't vaccinated. So I don't know which camp Dennis Prager is in, but as one uh, person on Twitter put it, I wish I could give them credit, but they said, look, we're going to find out if he's telling the truth. Because uh, this virus, especially the Delta variant, is absolutely more severe. So I, I don't know what to say. Uh, Dennis Prager, at least he has some level of self-awareness to acknowledge that what he's saying is bizarre. So he says here that um, I have engaged with strangers, constantly hugging them, taking photos with them, knowing that I was making myself very susceptible to getting COVID, which is indeed as bizarre as it sounded, what I wanted in hope I would achieve natural immunity. It's just, it's, this logic is so insane to me. If you want a level of protection against this virus, get the fucking vaccine, but he doesn't want to do that. So he's doing everything he can to avoid getting the vaccine. But I mean, again, who knows if he actually did or did not take it. But certainly what he says is uh, dangerous because he's discouraging his listeners from getting the vaccine. Listeners who are probably pretty old, who if they actually took his advice, they would be putting their lives in danger. So, I mean, there you have it. Dennis Prager has COVID-19 and he is totally excited about it. He's ecstatic. You can you can hear the excitement in his voice. Definitely not coping. He's really happy that he got COVID-19 because now he's going to have that sweet, sweet natural immunity. Except mm, you still need to get the vaccine if you want to be protected, if you're lucky enough to survive this. But odds are he will be okay because he is very, very wealthy. He has an estimated net worth of, I think, $10 million. So he's going to get the best medical care that is offered in this country. So I think that he's probably going to be okay, but either way, he's not going to have a fun time. This is no fun ride that he's going to experience, even if he's going to try to downplay it. But either way, you know, he, he claims this is what he wanted. So, uh, okay, man, have fun. Recovery mode, my brain ideas. Recovery mode, my brain ideas. 